at Sixes and Sevens, a major new commission and community engagement project to mark the 400th anniversary of the unique relationship between Derry London Derry and the City of London. This video shows the impact of the project on the young musicians and poets who took part in the Derry London Derry community engagement. They are speaking on the day of the first performance in the Guildhall, Derry London Derry, on the 3rd of July 2013. We're about to perform now in the Guild Hall, feeling very nervous but really excited as well to get the opportunity to perform in front of the public. Honoured, excited and like uh, I just really anticipating it so much. I'm really nervous but you know, it's cool at the same time. What if I forget something or you know, what if I mess up or anything like that there, that's the only thing that's going through my mind. Like, but... Yeah, I'm like super excited because like I haven't done anything like this before. So it's kind of an experience chatting to like different people and getting advice from people about how to perform and how to get the crowd's attention and stuff. I wrote part of the unity piece, the rhythm, where we were given a, a prompt from the poets, which we then transformed into a piece of music. And then they used that to write their full words for the piece. Writing the poetry to start was interesting, like finding out different people's point of views in the city and finding out their perspectives. And all. But I found out this new modern way to look at poetry. And lots of people should get involved in that. And I love meeting new people. And it's built my confidence quite a bit. Meeting lots of different people and getting to know their different skills and talents and new genres of music all incorporated on day one. Well, at the start, it was a little it was a little difficult because you know it's so different from what I do because I do traditional music mostly but I love um, you know modern music and classical and jazz and all that. Um, just learning to work with like a, an orchestra instead of just like a drummer and a bass player and a rock setup. Uh, even though I like being given music and saying here do you want to play this see how it sounds it's sort of nice to be included and ask what do you think it would be nice here it's, there's a lot of different factors you have to consider whenever you're playing with such a large group of people rather than just playing yourself. You've got timing, you've got your volume, which is even more difficult than timing. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good opportunity to show the public what we've done over the last two months. Then you started seeing your lack of structure as ugly. So I'm taking a spray can to the wall that you threw between us and now you have two options. You either break it down and grant me access or leave it standing there with my name all obvious. I'm feeling quite emotional today because we're about to perform the piece and um, we've just done the dress rehearsal and it was just a wonderful kind of moment where it feels like it's been four years in the planning and someone said earlier on it felt like 400 and sometimes <laughs> it has but suddenly to get to the arrival day where the project is going to culminate but also end in some ways um, is quite an emotional experience. Uh, it's been an absolute joy to be here, to be working on this Sixes and Sevens project. One of the beautiful things for me is that this project really kind of 
showcases what is possible in terms of creation from the ground level, right? We started with a space and a set of young poets and a set of young musicians. In fact, we started with people, some people who didn't really know where it was that they were going to fit in terms of music or poetry. And uh, at the end of it, we've created this wonderful professional piece of work that could stand up against anything else that's ever been produced. It's been really fantastic coming to Derry and working with Waterwall Music and the Verbal Arts Centre. Um, I didn't really have any expectations of the project before I came along and before we were involved, but I have to say that it's been probably the most rewarding project that personally I have worked on, um, and that's for so many reasons. Um, probably one of the main things is the relationships that we've built, that we've built with, um, with Waterwall Music and the Verbal Arts Centre. Um, we've made something genuinely artistically exciting together um, and we've worked with the young people in the local communities in a way that I feel has had a real impact upon their lives. Um, and the upshot of that really is that um, I think we've built a, a kind of collaboration um, between Derry and, and London that I hope will last for many years to come. It's been an amazing project. I think in all the years I have been facilitating creative writing um, workshops and classes and projects like this, I've never done anything like this and it's been one of the most educational for myself and one of the most fun and unique and unusual projects I've ever been involved in. The thing that I loved the most about it was um, the, um, the collaborative aspect of it. Um, so we made um, about half an hour's worth of music um, and I think that every single person involved, everyone on the stage, um, had a part, a role in, in creating that piece of music. So although we came and f we facilitated the compositional process, each of the children involved will have thrown a lyric in or thrown a, a riff in or had an idea for a chord or that there, there'd have been um, an idea there and those ideas were nurtured and sewn together and we made this completely original piece. Um, and the piece is of, of a extremely high quality. It's just a genuinely brilliant piece of music. I loved the way it used poetry and music and I loved the way that the poetry wasn't shoehorned into the music, that the poetry and the music organically became so a whole piece together. It, one couldn't have existed without the other. So I am utterly delighted by this project and now I am looking forward to, to what happens next. The project ends today, but what I'm looking forward to is what happens in six months' time, and then what happens in two years' time, and then what happens in five years' time. How many poets will turn into songwriters? How many songwriters will have a little bit of a better understanding about language and how to use it? How many jazz musicians have suddenly worked out that they can really work together with classical musicians incredibly well? How many folk musicians who have only ever learned to tune by ear, having now composed a tune from scratch, which sounds absolutely gorgeous, will they then go on to compose any more? Will they take this tune and play it in a trad session? Will it grow and have a life of its own? So I'm interested now in the journey beyond this project. Uh as a, a, a poet, I've done a lot of this kind of work. I've done a, a number of different projects that have pulled these various different strands of creativity together. And yet this is one of those projects that I would, I would hold up and celebrate above many. I'm very proud of this project. I'm very proud of every single person who's in it. And I've, I'm really very privileged to have been part of it. Yeah.